So let's go and look at increasing, and then I'll have you guys, then I'll do the formal. So if we're looking for the value of t in which um, on the interval of 1 is less than or equal to t, which is less than or equal to 10, where the speed is increasing, we can see there's a couple, couple points that are of importance looking at increasing. At, point, at time equals 2, at time equals 2, we have a velocity of 7, which is positive, and acceleration, which is positive. Therefore, we can say that it is increasing. At t equals 3, we have a velocity uh, that's positive and acceleration that's positive. Therefore, we can also say it's increasing. And then at time interval 10, we have a velocity that's negative, but we also have an acceleration that's negative. So therefore, that's also going to be increasing. So what I can write is since um, v of 2, all right, v sub 2 is greater than 0, and a sub 2 is greater than 0. Speed is increasing at t equals 2. And then I can just continue on with the rest of the values. Since the velocity at time 3 is greater than 0, and the acceleration at time 3 is greater than 0. The speed is increasing at t equals 3. And since v equals 10 is greater than 0, and a equals 10 is greater than 0, the speed is increasing at equals 10. So just remember when we're looking at all of these particles, um, or when we're looking at the velocity and the acceleration,